As soon as I sort of think about my ticks, they get worse. That's quite common. Um, but when I'm playing, there is like your whole brain is being used, it's being focused, it's being immersed in the music, whether that's like the movements or thinking about the technique or the musicality. I always describe it as the bit of my brain that makes me tick is too busy to think about it. Wilhelmina is clearly a dab hand at the marimba, but with years of dedication, starting from her home in Falmouth, she's now performing in the National Youth Orchestra and her Tourette's are just part of her day-to-day -day life. Movements are happening all the time, so it may not look like I'm ticking right now, but I am. I'm tensing my shoulders and my tummy, so sometimes you don't even know if someone's ticking. Hi, guys. Wilhelmina isn't the only one wanting to change the reputation of Tourette's. Seren has been using her TikTok to share what it's really like. I have Tourette's syndrome, but what does that look like for me? I'd say the first word that pops into my head is exhausting. I'm always moving um, and I can't control it, so I, it's definitely... It takes up a lot of energy. As an ambassador for the charity Tourette's Action, Seren is often having to correct people on their misconceptions about the condition. A lot of people seem to think that Tourette's is a result of bad parenting, when actually it's a disability and we can't control it. And that causes a lot of harm to a lot of kids who just grow up trying to suppress their tics and hide it from everybody. Social media has been there to record the highs and the lows. But both young women have had to wait years for their diagnoses, which makes a huge difference to the way they're treated during their education. The thought of having to be quieter or more still, it just brings them out. Um, so having to sit in a room with lots of people being quiet, trying to do a, an exam under pressure, you know, trying to get, get the best mark, but that's not what you're concentrating on because the one thing you're trying to do is not tick. The group of health experts who inform the NHS have no official guidelines on how to diagnose Tourette's. For the Dyer family, they were left without answers when Wilhelmina was ticking so much it was like epilepsy and she needed to use a wheelchair. My kind of understanding of Tourette's syndrome was it was people that swore. That, that's what the press, that's what the media, that's what the world had told me. So it, that does exist. But the vast majority of people with tics or Tourette's syndrome, um, they don't have that and a lot of them do, will end up in a wheelchair at some stage. Tourette's does make you stand out. And while no teenager wants to be labelled, they do want to be understood. Charlotte Gay, ITV News, Falmouth.